Greetings from Spoiler Apes Fart Dungeon, here in the unstable version of Starbound 1.3. Um, yep, it's almost here, mechs and all. And in this series of videos, we'll preview the most interesting stuff coming up in 1.3, uh, bearing in mind it's all still unfinished. In this first episode, we'll see how to get your first mech, which means we need to go to the outpost. Right, so, um, well, mech uh, mechs 101, I guess. So, if you go over to the outpost and then go over to here, you'll notice now there's a little staircase down and there's a little mech laboratory type thing. And here you've got a mech part crafting station. Um, nothing there yet because I haven't got any of the blueprints. Uh, and there's also a mech assembly station. And I can't use this yet because I'm unauthorised. Uh, so there's not much you can do at the moment. Ah! However, if you talk to Mr. Penguin, he will send you on a little quest. Now, I played around with this a little bit. I haven't actually done the quest yet, but I did notice that there was a bit of um, faffing around with... I think I had to complete uh, the Shock Hopper quest before this unlocks. I'm not 100% sure about that, um, but that's what I had to do first. Um, and then suddenly, this is all good. Um, this is because this is just this is the very first um, preview of 1.3. Therefore, things will change. So some of this stuff... I'm just consider this just like a... Oh, hello. Consider this a preview only. Um, just a taster. Alright, so this is our first time in a mech. You are now suspended in a zero-gravity environment. The mech you are piloting is designed to travel through space. I would strongly advise... Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't know what he had strongly advised. Uh, never mind. So let's have a go, then. And complete the mech test course. Uh, uh, oh dear, yeah, don't get out. <laughs> Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, we are floating in space. Oh, hello. Right, so left arm fires. Right arm deploys a little shield. So this is not a mech I built myself. This is one, actually, Mr. Penguin guy gave to me. Let's have a bit of a look round. Right, obviously we have to go this way. In space, etc. Uh, these targets can be destroyed. All right. Ah, nice and simple. My probability matrix has concluded that destroying them may allow you to progress. Oh, <laughs> uh, easier said than done. Oh, there we go. That's quite straightforward. Uh, oh, hello. Have I missed a target? Was there another one? I don't think there was. Let's go back. Oh, he didn't care. All right. So that, I thought that was going to kill me. Um, your mech switches to a ground movement configuration when in an environment with gravity. I would advise you to continue to... Well, whatever. All right. Uh, so guessing these are targets to shoot. They're there. And down we go. Can't get in there. That's a bit of glass. Glass is, of course, impenetrable to mechs. Well known. And please be aware of your mech's energy reserves. Visualised as the blue bar. Uh, which is there. Um, your mech's energy will deplete over time. Hey, look at this! I just realised Spoiler Ape has a little helmet on! Oh! That's crushing the berry. Oh, god damn it. Oh, I'm, I'm... <laughs> Okay, I think it, that was actually a solid thing. Alright, let's, um, let's proceed. Let's follow the little green arrow, which appears to be telling me which way to go. A little bit of gravity for the lads. And off we go again. Hostile entities exist in zero gravity. My cosmonautical... Ah! Um, we... <laughs> I picked something up. Um, I'm not sure what that was, though. Well, maybe it doesn't go into my inventory, then. Also, you can see Spoiler Ape's got a little helmet on there as well, which is rather cool. Well, I picked something up, but I'm not 100% sure where that went, because it's really hard to read that quickly. Although I sh should be able to just um, press enter and read it back. There we go. Um, obtaining an energy battery, which your mech can absorb. Ah, right, so that just gives me back energy. That's good. Good. Good! <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's, let's proceed. Are you a baddie? You are a baddie. Right. Let's, and you too? Yes, there it is. The blue bar is um, going up. Finally saw that for the first time properly. Yes. Uh, uh, hang on, what's going on? This mech is too large to continue. Press E to enter and exit. Like I've already done that. Ah. So I can't go through here, presumably, at all. I've got to leave it behind. You appear to have completed Dr. Akagagagi's test course. I must declare that I'm curious as to how a large ship can, came to be abandoned by my records. Something about a conclusion. Ah. Yes! I've switched on. And I've sat down. 
Uh, but I don't think there's anything left to do, so let's go back to the Mechamagorium. Official term. Da 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 da. Hey! Return to Dr. Eggs at the outpost, or whatever the hell he's called. Ow. And. Yes, learn to craft make it basic mech arms, drill mech arms, basic mech and boosters, Dominion 00 mech body, and flat cannon mech arm. You made it back. That's not surprise. That's that's not surprising, my voice. It's elation. Um, I can give you enough spare mech components for you to deploy your own mech for space travel. Head over to the mech assembly st um, station to customize it. Right, so now it's unlocked. Um, this was previously locked for me, an unauthorized user. So let's have a look. Uh, huh. All my mech components do not exist yet. And because we actually have to craft them here. Now, you do actually need materials, um, of course. Um, in this case, titanium. In this case, titanium. In this case, titanium. And that, yes, also titanium. Uh, now, just let me just um, sneak into admin mode, just so I can show you that there are actually a shitload of parts... And some of these things do actually require a additional things, like salvaged ar armor parts and salvaged nano receptacle. I've had a quick look at look up at what's going on here, and apparently you can get those from space encounters, um, attacking aliens or something in space, probably in your mech. Right, so I've completely legally obtained a load of titanium, um, but first I just want to talk to him. Um, I'm waiting on a shiny new mech weapon, but I need some help gathering some pieces. If you go to space and find me ten salvage, salvage control circuits and five salvage power couplings, I think that will be enough to finish it. Right, so I won't do that just yet, or probably at all in this video. <laughs> um, but clearly that's going to be like a progression of qu um, a quest progression type thing to get more and more interesting stuff. So, um, all requires titanium. I've mysteriously got more, as I say. Uh, this requires um, quite a lot. This is the big one. And the rest of them seem to only require a little bit. And basic mech boosters. Do we need more than one of these? Possibly not. We only need some one lot of legs. As you can see, these are only like one out of five. And for goodness. And later on, you'll be able to get ones which are much better and more interesting. And you can get a whole variety of different weapons as well. I mean, we've seen so far the shieldy thing and the shooty thing. But it looks like there's quite a lot of other stuff as well. Right, so now they've all got into my inventory in possibly the most busy, awkward to find place in the world. So it's still left over from all my asteroid base stuff, all that stuff, all my all my streams and stuff. Right, okay. Oh, hang on. Yep. Can I do this? Yes, I can. Right. So, did I even need to do this? <laughs> um, I think I've actually um I don't didn't actually need to do that because it's already. Yeah, I've just basically. Completely unnecessary made another lot of things. Um, yeah, so you've, you, they already exist by the looks of it. So, well, <laughs> that was a waste of time. Let's see if I can actually change the colour yet. Yes, there we go. Let's customise it to, to like the, the randomised user old school colours. In fact, yeah, just take that round to black again. Well, black enough anyway. Well, I can add. Nice shade of red. Right, so let's leave that behind. Let's go back to the ship. I'm currently um, over, I think it's a mutated alien planet. Uh, there's a new icon on the right here. Deploy mech. So it's another teleporty thing. Oh, you can like, fall out the bottom of the ship. Okay, that's interesting. Oh! <laughs> Hello. Your vehicle is not certified for this environment. Disregarding this warning may, may cause pilot death. And invalidation of vehicle warranty. Oh, that's interesting. So I can do a little bit of leaping around the place, but... Apparently this is maybe maybe this is too, this place is too rich for my blood. Ah, well let's just have a little bit of a play around before we let's, let's do a bit of shooting. Oh, this feels like the old old school mechs from back in the day, a million years ago in Starbound. Actually, how the hell do you actually um? How do you actually get out of here now? Um, there's no actual like de teleporty type thing. Oh dicks! <laughs> ah, well let's leave. Hopefully it's, it's not like um, you'd, you'd actually have to put it into a ball, like you do with the... Um, I've actually got one. Um, I don't think I've actually got a vehicle controller at the moment. Um, because these don't work in the same way as um, your hover bikes and your explorer pods, if you've got that mod. Um, yeah, it looks like... Um, yeah, you can actually just leave it on the planet, it doesn't really matter if you do that. 
Huh. Interesting. Let's actually flip over to a uh, a less stressful place. Somewhere that's a, like a... An, yeah, let's try an ocean. And because that's, that's quite low tier. Oh, actually... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is going to take a bit of getting used to. Let's deploy. That's more like it. Do 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 do. I'm flubbed. I've come back here again. Oh, that's that's why. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, just being a bit stupid there. Um, so you can't teleport somewhere. No, you can't. You can't actually teleport. You can't actually deploy your mech when you're teleporting. You can only do it when you're above the planet. Huh. Took me a while, but I got there. Let's actually heal up. There we go. <laughs> hmm. Well, I'll actually have to go somewhere else then. Okay, so also in 1.3, um, I'll just mention this now um, to give you a taste of what we're going to look at in future episodes of this. And they've also got um, a brand new navigation console stuff, which we'll look at in the next episode. And um, from that, you can actually find space stations, uh, NPC ships, and anomalies to investigate. All of which you have to use your mech. Um, you can't just um, you can't do it without. Um, and you can go you can go there, fly through space, and in investigate space stations and stuff like that, and get gather some new raw materials and all sorts of crazy stuff. And there's also the ability if you complete a certain quest, apparently you can actually unlock the ability to make your own space stations. Ooh. Um, so that's going to be a lot of fun finding out how that all works. So cool. Um, so yeah, do subscribe to be um, notified when new episodes of this preview series go live and a lot more besides. Um, and yeah, check me out. Check out my Patreon if you want to help support the channel and help us keep keep us going, and also access some bonus videos as well, which would be lovely and fantastic and great and all that. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'll stop rambling and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.